hyperhidrosis, for example, of, uh, sweaty hands. Uh, so uh, this refers to severe sweating of the hands and it can affect the, uh, the work with computers and writing. Uh, and, well, a condition we call severe hyperhidrosis. And uh, different treatments are available. First of all, uh, patients can try lifestyle changes, uh, treatment for anxiety. Uh, they can try antiperspirants or anticholinergics medication uh, treatment. Uh, if that doesn't work, then surgery is also possible. Uh, uh, the reason surgery is possible in this case is because the nerve which controls the, the sweating of the hands actually travels uh, at the back of the chest wall. Uh, and we can divide this nerve uh, which controls the sweating in the hands. And this can uh, then result in uh, a warm and dry hand. And this is uh, possible through a keyhole technique, what we call video-assisted thoracoscopic surgery or VAT surgery. Uh, so this is called VAT sympathectomy, which is cutting the sympathetic nerve. Uh, two small incisions at each side of the, of, the, of the chest wall, and the sympathetic nerve is divided at two different positions. Uh, it's usually done as a day case. Uh, the patient comes in in the morning, and they can, and they can then go home in the evening. Uh, but they can stay an additional additional night if, if uh, required. Uh, the satisfaction rate is high, 95% of the cases are happy with the surgery. A common side effect of this is that there may be increased sweating in other parts of the body or after eating a heavy meal. But most of the patients, 95% of patients tell us that they are very satisfied with the outcome from this procedure with the dry hands. Uh, and the and the side effects do not do not affect them very very much. Uh, I'd like to thank you again for joining us today, uh, and thank you to CVSKL and to our supporting partners for arranging this webinar. I hope it has been uh, useful and interesting, uh, and uh, I will be happy to answer questions. Thank you.